Hello everybody, welcome to Excel Video 268. I'm Nate Moore. I'm sending this to you from New Jersey where I'm in town to speak for the New Jersey MGMA tomorrow. If I haven't spoken in your state lately, I'd love to. What we're going to do today is spend a little more time in the Find and Select menu. Last time we, we could find all kinds of things. We could find Dr. Smith or Dr. Johnson, no problem. What I want to talk about today is, well, what if you want to find part of something? What I mean by that is, let's say I'm looking for E&M codes. Find me all the CPT codes that start with 992. I don't care what comes after them, it just needs to start with 992. Or if I want to find uh, all of a certain patient or a certain physician that has this letter pattern to it. And what do I mean by that? Let me show you. Let's do a find and say, I want to find all my doctors. And I'm not going to worry about the doctor part. All I want to do is find everybody that starts with J and then has an S out there. So if I do a J and then this asterisk and an S, what the asterisk means is, I'll take anything in that space. It's a wild card that says whether it's one character or ten. We'll take anything in there as long as we have a J and then an S. Let me show you what find next will do. We're going to find Johnson because I've got a J and then an S. We'll find Johnson again. Now I'm going to find Jones because Jones has a J and then an S. There's something after the S in Johnson, not, not in Jones. But the find will find it either way because I'm using this asterisk wild card that will take any number of characters as long as it's got a J any number of characters in an S, I'm good to go. Let me show you a different wild card. Let's say that instead of the asterisk where I'll take any number of characters, I'm just looking for one character in specifically. Let's, uh, let's do it in this patient name column. What I'm going to find here, I'm going to clear off this. Let's do R, and then the question mark wild card says, I'm just looking for one character now. I don't want any number of characters, I'm looking for one character. So R question mark Y says, find me anything that has an R and then, a and then any one character, any single character, and then a Y. Let's find next. Let's slide this maybe, yeah, if we get this out of the way. So we're going to find Leroy. And it's just moving all over the place as we try to find it. I'm looking for R space Y, so it's going to find Barry, right? Find next. Now it's going to find Roy, R-O-Y. And it's going to find Terry, R-R-Y. See how that's working? It's looking for one character. There's Perry and then R-C-Y and Percy. It'll find any pattern. The difference is the asterisk will look for any number of characters. The question mark looks for one. You may say, all right, Nate, that's great. What if I'm looking for a question mark? What if I'm looking for an asterisk? How do I find that? That's the last trick I want to show you today. Um, I've got a client that will put uh, special characters in the front of CPT, go, CPT code descriptions to try to remind them, hey, put this modifier with it or make sure you do this kind of correct coding thing before you use the code. Let's say you're looking for a question mark. Here's how you might do it. If you go to find, this time instead of the question mark, what we're going to do is this little tilde character that is, if you hold down shift and hit the key to the left of the one on my keyboard, you're going to get something that looks like that. And now I'm going to do that and a question mark and do find next. And so here's what I've got. I've got a patient with Jimmy and question marks after. Maybe we're not sure that's his name. Maybe I put that in there so I'd find a question mark. But the tilde will help you find characters where otherwise it would be a wild card. If I put the question mark in there by itself, it'd be a, a one character wild card. But when I put that in front of it, now I can find the, the question mark in my data. So what are we trying to do today? We're trying to increase the leverage and the power of what we can find by being able to look for any series of characters with that asterisk wildcard, one specific character when we're using the question mark, or we can even look for question marks and asterisks by using the tilde that's right above uh, the key to the left of the one key with shift held down. I hope that was helpful for you. Hopefully now we've got all kinds of tools that we can find things with. Now that we can find and we can replace, we're going to go to this options menu next time and really increase our ability to find and replace and create ourselves a really powerful tool that can do a lot of stuff for you in Excel. We'll start that next time. Thanks for watching.